Hi Peter, hi Bernhard. Excited to hear the latest news about the Semitrans 20. What have you got for us, Bernhard? We have just released the first types of Semitrans 20. Means our production lines are ready, so we are ready to go to the mass production of Semitrans 20 now. This is really good news. Um, Bernard, your background is high power converters. What makes this package so uh, interesting for those applications? Especially for the high power applications, this package uh, has a perfect internal layout. That means we have a low inductance design. The chips internal are very good paralleled. That also allows us then a paralleling of the modules to go to much higher power ratings in one stack than we used to be before. Let me just jump in here because this is really uh, superior to the Semitrans 20. We also develop right now a version with uh, silicon carbide and this emphasizes that this package is uh, ideally suited for fast switching and it has a very nice low inductive design. Okay, thanks Peter. Um, Bernard, anything else that makes you excited about this package? Yes, the package allows us also to go to higher voltages. It was usually designed up to 3.3 kV. That means the clearance and creepage distances allow us to go to higher voltages that on standard high power modules we used before. Peter, I can't tell you how excited I am that you've brought a stack with you today. I'm sure this stack must be full of Semitrans 20s. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is uh, actually, James, what we call an application sample. You know that we have a fairly large application group that is supporting our customers. We are doing this kind of demo designs uh, just to promote our product and to show how they are being used in the application uh, in the field. This stack here is uh, an ANPC topology. Mm -hmm. We have altogether six modules on one heatsink, so there's actually two times the ANPC topology in parallel. Here in this design, uh, we're using 1700 volt IGBTs and that makes this uh, good for up to 2200 volt DC link voltage and 1300 volt AC, which makes uh, more than three megawatt power. Then what about that with respect to the low voltage directive? Yeah, this was especially designed for the Chinese market where it is allowed to go to this higher voltages. For the European market, we can just replace the 1700 volt uh, modules by high efficient 1200 volt modules. And so we stay in the 1500 volt DC and stay also in this low voltage directive. Brilliant. Bernard, thanks very much. Guys, thanks for joining me. Great to get the latest and greatest on the Semitrans 20. Thank you. <laughs>